This is Taylor from Wall Street Prep with your third PowerPoint insider secret, what I call the power cropping challenge. So how fast can you crop and resize photos or images in PowerPoint into standardized sizes and shapes for your presentations? For example, if your client sent you four photos like this, how fast could you crop and resize them all down into standardized squares for a team overview slide like this, or into perfect circles for a team overview slide like this? Now, there's a variety of different ways to do them in PowerPoint, but most of them take forever. Let me just quickly show you a couple to see if this is how you would have done it. So if I'm here in PowerPoint, I can select a photo, I can picture format, I can crop a photo down into a perfect square or try to be a perfect square by manually, all right, cropping out what I want, I'll hit escape. The issue here is all of these photos start as different sizes. You'd have to kind of expand them to find um, where their perfect headshot would fit within the rectangle. So that's one way to try to solve this. A second way, if you select a photo, picture format tab, you do have, if you open the drop down, which not a lot of people know about, this crop to shape feature, which will get you into a perfect circle, but only if you start with a perfect rectangle. So you can't just resize your photo like this because that's gonna warp your photo. So a much faster way to do this, I'm gonna hit Control Shift D so I can duplicate my slide over here. And I'm actually gonna make this a little bit harder on myself because this trick works regardless of how many photos you have. So instead of four photos, let's just imagine that I had 16 photos like this. Well, the fastest way to crop and resize photos into standardized shapes here in PowerPoint is to first select all of your photos. So only all of my photos are selected. Navigate to the picture format tab, open up the picture layout drop down, and watch what happens as I hover over these different smart art graphics. PowerPoint takes my photos and crops and resizes them into perfect standardized shapes, which is 10 times faster than you could ever do this on your own. Now, I do want to point out there are some different shapes in this um, Smart Art Layout drop down, some circles, some hexagons, etc. What I really recommend using is this bending picture semi transparent text for perfect rectangles or ovals, or this picture lineup for perfect squares and circles. Because I want a circle, I'm going to choose this picture lineup which is gonna give me a smart art graphic, which I don't want. I can either convert two shapes up in my ribbon. You can also just control shift G once, twice to break it apart. And let me just delete out a bunch of these extra photos so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better here. Delete out these lines and I will resize these photos here as we move towards this perfect circles. Now, first off, I'm gonna address this kind of trimmed head look in just a second, but for now, let's get these from perfect squares into perfect circles. Simply select the images that came out of SmartArt, shape format tab, navigate over here to the edit shape dropdown, chain shape, chain shape from the rectangle that it currently is to the oval, which will give you that perfect circle here in PowerPoint. Now, as far as these trimmed heads, there are two different ways to fix this. The first way to fix this, if I come to the next slide, is simply select the photo that comes out of SmartArt, come up to the picture format tab, select crop, and you'll see where PowerPoint has cropped and resized the photo. Again, PowerPoint is doing this uh, or guessing, it doesn't always get it right, so you can hold shift and kind of adjust the photo like that and hit escape. That's one way to do it manually. Another way to do it with a little bit more precision, if I come to the next slide, if you right click your photo, come to format picture, come to this picture icon in the format picture dialog box, come and find the crop dropdown. If you open that up, you have both an X offset and a Y offset. An X offset, if I just increase this, will move my photo um, bit by bit within the cropped area. In this case, I don't want the X axis moved. Instead, I want the Y axis moved. So I'll just click up and tell my colleague's head. And if I go too far, you can see you can actually move outside of a cropped area. So I'm just gonna adjust that back until it's a perfect circle like that and hit escape. So that's how you can quickly take team photos that someone sends you. And again, it could be the entire company if it had to, push them through SmartArt to create standardized squares or rectangles for a team overview slide like this, or perfect circles or ovals for a team overview slide like this. So that's your third PowerPoint insider secret, what I call the power cropping challenge, allowing you to very quickly crop and resize any number of photos you have into standardized shapes in just a couple of minutes here in PowerPoint.